Hi, I'm Wendy Lynn Phillips, beauty and image expert and author of the book, Naked to Knockout, Beauty from the Inside Out. I'm here today with one of my face models, Lauren, and we are going to show you a great eye tip so that you can say, I can do that. Today, we're going to do some great, we're going to use great tools and we're going to do some great tips and we're going to have a great end result on how to take a basic dash out the door look and turn it into a really dramatic look, a business look, or for some, an everyday look. Um, with special occasions this summer and year round really, you might find that when you really want to kick it up a notch, you're just not sure what to do. So for most people, one tip that I'll give you right off the bat is to use a smoky gray charcoal, not a jet black, unless of course you have more bronze or Indian skin tone. But for most ivory and beige skin tones, a steely gray, something that's a little more of a softer charcoal focus is better to get a smoky look that adds depth adds a little drama and mystique and really looks good on almost all eye shapes and eye colors. So again, you want to start with a basic neutral base tone of eye color. We've put this across Lauren's lid, blended it all the way to the brow bone area. We have just a little bit of contrast color that was her everyday look. It's just a basic brown. It, again, is something perfect for everybody. But to kick it up a notch, we're going to add a little bit of a smoky dark charcoal in a steely color. And what you want to do, ladies, is apply with one side of a sponge tip applicator and then blend upward with the other side. Of course, if you're using your nice set of brushes, you can always blend with a sable brush like this. I sometimes don't like using this when I'm using a darker color because as you blend, you can flick the dark eye color and it gets caught on the inner part of the nose and that is not good. Of course, you can always fix it by doing just a little dab of white but um, the sponge tip really helps you get color where you want it to stay. And then the goal is to simply blend. If there was any tip and any word to describe how to do a great eye look, for me it would be blend, blend, blend. Put more on, blend it down. Put more on, blend it down. You can always take away, but you can't make a softer look more dramatic without adding more intense color. So we've done this on Lauren here. Now I'm just blending it in, adding a little more drama with um, a little bit of a contrasting lighter color here. So you want to contrast with light on the inner half and then your darker on the outer half and finish with a little bit of your white highlighter up on the brow bone and we're going to add a black either liquid or a black liner to add further drama an extra coat of mascara give just a little attention to her brow and you'll see a finished look okay and so as you can see we finished an extra coat of mascara We've lined with a jet black liner. You could use liquid and get it even more defined, really clean. The cat eye is always an option. Some people like it, some people don't. And um, one of the other big tools is to use a brow kit. Now, a brow pencil is also an option. If you're using a pencil to fill in brows, you want to be real sure that you use light feathery strokes. And then this is your guide, ladies. If you took a pencil from the edge of the nose to the edge of the eye, your brow should end just at that line. So for a symmetry, you want to be sure on both eyes that your brow ends there 
and then on the center when you come this way that it begins there. So you can tell on most people if they need to go slightly in and fill just a touch or extend. And I love giving extra attention to brows because they're like, they're like curtains on a window. They just frame the face. And so you can tell that Lauren's are both um, trimmed and they are properly aligned. And so we're just going to put a little bit of brow gel to further accentuate the brows. And this brow gel is clear and it's wet and then it dries hard so it really keeps them in place. It's a great product to give an extra finishing touch to a super dramatic eye look. And uh, here is our everyday, here is our evening look or a work look. It's just a classic eye color that again will go with all eye types and whatever wardrobe colors you have. So let's take your hair down. And so we're here with our finished look for a daytime business or evening look. We've simply added a jacket, an earring, a little clear gloss, and want to draw attention to the finished eye on Lauren's right side that just gave a real smoky look, an allure and fun of welcoming, you know, eyes are the window to the soul. And so when you speak with your eyes and your heart, you're going to make great connections with people. I encourage you to try a new eye look today, and I hope that after you watch this video, you'll be saying, I can do that. For more great tips, go to www.nakedtoknockout.com. Nakedtoknockout.com. I'll see you for more in our series of eye makeup tricks and tips. Bye for now.